Hi guys, it's Mojila Oluwa here. So I recently went to a Francophone country for the first time in my life. I went to Benin Republic, Kotonou to be precise. And I just want to show you my trip from Nigeria to Kotonou and back to Nigeria. It was a road trip and uh, it was fun. It was just a few days. Uh, I stayed at a guest house that I found and booked on uh, Booking.com. I have done an entire video on the hotel room and uh, the value I got for my money. Uh, I hope you watch that as well, but let me take you through my trip. So I went on a Thursday and I came back on uh, a Saturday evening. So uh, this is my journey. This is uh, Lagos. I'm on the Long Bridge right now. And here I'm at Mount 2 where I took uh, a cab going straight to Seme Border. So this is me. Uh, so while I was in the cab, before we started the trip, a client of mine, uh, a document review client that had helped uh, prepare application for uh, application documents for graduate studies, uh, messaged me that she was now in London. Uh, she had resumed her program in London. So uh, we started the trip. It was a very long trip because it was just a day of old ops. I left my house around 6 and I don't think I got to my hotel in Navy Cotonou until about 7 or 7.30 in the night. So it was really, really a day of old ups. So I'm here at the border. I got to the border at some minutes past 6 p.m. So I changed money. What you see, the monies that I changed were a total of 30,000 naira. And at the point that I changed the money, uh, 1,000 Nigerian naira changed for 925 sephas. So um, I got a cab that took me directly to AV from the semi border for 5,000 sephas. That's uh, some, that's sank mil sephas. So, this is a large carifu. I'm not, that's a roundabout in, uh, in, the, in French, I speak French actually a little. Je parle français un peu. Uh, parce que j'apprends français à l'école primaire et secondaire. So, um, <laughs> and uh, je parle Yoruba, je parle anglais. Mais in Cotonou, they barely speak anglais, they mostly speak uh, French. But you would find a few people that speak Yoruba well or Yoruba un peu. So, we are here. Once you enter Seme, border once you cross from semi border you get into Kotonu. uh you we got to this uh uh toll gate this was the only toll gate oh, i passed okay, through okay. throughout well, okay. and really the only place where a driver or rider had to stop and pay money you can relate that to lagos nigeria or any other part of nigeria where you know your drivers or riders have to stop at several places to pay monies to government licensed people and unlicensed people, street urchins, and what have you. So the driver paid uh, Troisome Sefa, that's uh, 300 Sefas at the uh, toll gate. So I asked him what it was, and he told me it was like Lekki toll gate. That's what he was telling me. So Now we are at the place called uh, Le Belly. That's uh, the entrance, proper entrance into Kotonou. So um, this is uh, a night ride and it was really glorious. The first thing you would notice are the wide roads and clean roads. So you could see that. And the road was quite free. You know, it was quite free. And then it was lit up at night. It was really lit up. Not just from the street lights, but from the buildings, you know, that you could see that uh, they had light. Or if I would say they had electricity. So so I remember that while I was preparing for this trip, I watched a lot of YouTube videos. Because I had no plans to actually go for this trip. But uh, in August, I was talking to an intern of mine at my office an intern who worked closely with me who is a nigerian but schools in uh benin republic so i asked him a lot of questions and that piqued my interest and i said why not just pack a bag and go see for myself so that's why i came here so when i was watching i know that i found a video by uh someone who talked about the longest uh 
graffiti wall in Africa. So that's the wall. When I saw it, I was really happy to see it with my own eyes. So this is a mosque. It's quite magnificent. You can look at the building, the structure, and the color too. I don't know, but anytime I see people painting public buildings in colors like white, on like bold statement, you don't think this is going to get dirty and you're going to have to keep repainting. So the river took me to Aviv and then I showed him the uh, address of the hotel and he helped me to call the address of the hotel. I have to tell you that people are really helpful in Kotonou. That's my experience. I wouldn't know if that's general, but as far as my experience uh, can uh, speak, people were really helpful. The drivers, the riders, you know, even the hotel attendants, everyone was just helpful. And you just felt safe, you know. But of course, your Nigerian mind would be like, let me double check. Hope they're not trying to cheat me or to do something sinister. So each time I had to double check, it was just... Okay, I met them. Each time you know, I tried trying to double to check, I found out they were really trying to help, you know. So, and of course, trying to make their uh, own profits, you know, lawful profits now, you know, from uh, offering services for those who offer services. And for those who were just uh, doing something out of their way, it was just so cool. So I took... Uh, I decided I to doc I'm not a vlogger mm -hmm. on a normal day, mm -hmm. but I just wanted to document, you know, my experience. But I also told myself that I wasn't going to be over documenting so that I can really enjoy, you know, and take in, you know, the uh, country and whatnot. So we're already at Aviv, so we are a little lost. So the driver, I showed him the number of the guest house, the hotel, guest house really. So he called them and they described the way. Then they actually sent someone to come get us. How lovely. They sent someone to come get us. So when the guy came, uh, I wanted to get down and follow him. But he said that the driver should drive me down after him. So that when he was coming to pick me, he would know how to find his way. So uh, we had an arrangement that the driver was, the hotel was going to call the driver for me when it was time. Because, you know, I showed you rooming pictures and whatnot. When you get into Kotonou from Nigeria, your Nigerian networks or numbers don't work again. Not for data, not for calling, not for anything. So I had to use the hotel Wi-Fi the whole time. Especially because I was spending just a few days. There was, uh, it wasn't economically prudent to go get a new SIM or data in Kotonou. So, um... The hotel agreed that they were going to call. So we agreed that the hotel was going to call the driver for me. Even though when it was time for me to go, we called him and he didn't pick. But the attendant found me another way. So like I said, I'm not really a vlogger. So <laughs> however the videos, you know, turn out or however, uh, whatever movement you can see back and forth, you know, upside, sideways, what have you. Just take it like that. So also I was trying to take in the uh, scenery and everything. So I was trying as much as possible not to document everything. This is an NTN office. I think it's the headquarters. We're already in AV, by the way. You can see how beautiful it is. I literally came to all these places by foot during the day and by bike. Because I literally taught this place twice for different purposes. You go see person. You go see your 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 person being recorded without their permission, you know, while going about their daily activities. And you would see that most of the videos I did during the day, I did not really show the faces of the people. Plus, I really wanted to just enjoy myself. So, um, this is AV. Uh, you can see the guy in blue shirt has come to pick me. I showed him better, you know, in the video that I did for the hotel room that I got. And uh, we are now going to Carl's Guest House in Aviv, Kotonou, where I'll be spending just a few nights.
So the French battle begins. Uh, this is uh, the attendant by night. There's another attendant by day. So I asked him where I could eat if, uh, the art food. So he described restaurants to me. He gave me two options to go up the street or down the street. We basically conversed in French. And honestly, all my secondary school French just began to come to me. <laughs> I remember that we did one La Rue Ribadou uh, um, exercise in secondary school. And I think it was uh, it was like a comprehension passage, La Rue Ribadou. If you use Nouvelle Horizon, you would remember. And that's where you learn how to give directions, to near gauche, to near droit, you know, and all those things. So when this guy was telling me uh, a droit, uh, uh, this and that, I just remembered secondary school French. So first, I took a journey up the street. And I could not even find a restaurant, a place to eat. But I found some uh, place where they were making, uh, would I say, suya or asun. Yeah. So they told me that they, they only uh, sold in orders. So people had already ordered or I had to order or something. So, But I now asked them where I could get proper food. Something heavy, actually. <laughs> so the lady described it as best as she could. You know, of course, in French, but she was trying to do English because I was speaking English as well. And then I found myself at Chesam. After asking, you know, a few other people across uh, along the way, found myself as the, uh, I found myself at this bar called Chesam. <laughs> you know on the way and they told me to get in with the key that they gave to me because they were heading somewhere quickly so i got in and made this video of the lounging and entrance area it's in more detail in the video i made about the hotel room i hope you check it out on my channel so as soon as i started speaking english at the bar they actually got me an attendant who spoke english and it was when i spoke to that day and the other day when i went back to the bar Funny thing is, some of these things only open at night. Because the next day I was really hungry, looking for a place to eat. I couldn't get. And I went to this bar around uh, 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And they were shut. They were closed. But when I went back around 8 p.m., 9, they were open. So uh, this is what I got. Um, I got um, turkey and fries. And I got it. And they added... Uh, tomato sauce and then pepper sauce their pepper is not really peppery so they're just deceiving themselves i guess they eat a lot of tomato sauce here <laughs> yoruba man if you come here yoruba woman you're gonna have a lot of adapting to do so um i got it for everything for i paid uh do meal cephas that's two thousand francs cephas uh so i know that i could i cannot get uh this kind of meal for that in amount in lagos the portion of the fries would be smaller than this i am certain of that so um but it was when i went back the next day that i discovered that the yoki drink itself alone that size was 500 francs cephas so the food was actually 1500 francs cephas quite cheap you know to fix an African style for my outing tomorrow in a bit air done now time to sleep it over and go to bed
so i prayed way earlier before this this is just vlog behavior hi guys bonjour ça va i'm here in abib kotunu and i'm about to shoot a video on a service of court processes in nigeria but just before i do that i wanted to give you a tour of this hotel room and i wanted to show you what it looked like how much i got it for and you know the facilities and things that fascinate me about this hotel and the hotel room in particular so please come along so like i said in the other video about the hotel room i didn't get to pay until the next day because no one really asked me and when i went back downstairs the night before to ask about payment they said i could pay the other day and then i realized that i was now short of cash because of some expenses along the way so i had to find a way to go change naira to sefa or to get more sefa so i can pay because they said that they do not accept card payments even though the host had told me that his own visa card worked well and i had a visa card but uh, the attendants that i met on ground said they cannot take hey. visa cards oh. so i had a really really hard uh, time other than the okay. night attendant speaking or communicating with this daytime attendant yeah. so um this was when I remember to okay, uh, make a video, but uh, we had spoken way, way more than Naira this. And I had spoken some French that she understood and uh, some English and that she did not ah, understand. I asked okay. if she spoke Yoruba eventually. She said no, but that she knew someone who spoke Yoruba. So she called the person for me. And the person I spoke with the person who told Apart me that I had to uh, go border. change with the money changers, or I could try border, ATMs in town. So if ATMs oh, did not give me seven, which I wasn't yeah. certain they would do, so yeah. but if they did not, I could then go change with the money changers. So they were really you helpful. At some point, yeah. she asked me to speak well, into her phone to, so, so that uh, the uh, the phone could translate okay, what okay. you know I wanted to say to her in French, I'll and then she also tried to use translator on the phone to translate from French to English, but the translator was just okay, we'll be doing my rubbish <laughs> that morning no 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 ah, i will just withdraw it ah, uh, from the atm uh, or something I before know. i can change it okay je vais demander à celui que j'ai appelé okay il y a de l'argent but it's not enough Il y a de l'argent, eh. mais c'est pas au complet. C'est eh, pas complet. Ah, okay. C'est pas complet. Ah, ça passe pas. Ça marche pas. Je sais pas. Où est-ce qu'on peut faire mon nez naïra? Et quatre, quatre. Mm. Et quatre bancos. Ok. Cinq, vous avez trois. So eventually she described how I would get to uh, an ATM or the market for me. And of course, uh, after I'd spoken to the guy she called for me who spoke Yoruba, by the way. So the Yoruba the guy spoke reminds me of Akoni in uh, Tunde Kilani's film, Abeni. They just speak, the Yoruba is so formal and, you know, so deep, <laughs> deeper than, you know, uh, conversational Yoruba that we speak here in Nigeria but it's just so beautiful to know that someone else speaks your language so I'm now on my way to that Okwa market I th Yala, so, uh, the Tokwa market or uh, ATM huh? ATM 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 machine to withdraw money Money, uh, no, I have. I have. Je money, me, je besoin eh, more money. Eh. Okay. To buy your bar. No. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. You pass from seven, okay. Oshi. Don't you open the bank? Eh, uh, eh. Uh,
I also have to say that Kotonu is a land of curry foods. So many roundabouts, usually with iconic, you know, centerpieces. And uh, another thing I want to say is that, you know, I, t- I took bikes a lot. So, or let me say I biked around a lot because I basically took like maybe two or three bikes. So, because there was one particular bike that took me to almost all the other places I went aside from this bike. So, maybe just two. And not once were we stopped by anyone or anybody trying to collect money from the bike man, whether dues or anything. How to remove this one, madam? Sisa, come here. Huh? Don't miss her. Uh, my, uh, this one and this one. Men price. Okay. Uh, Don't name one six yards. A six yards. So. I'll take this one. Give me this one. Take this one. A total. Total say uh, No 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 same song Garlic second. Oh no no no.
So I gave you so the name of the meal from where I gave you from. So, uh -huh. You give me the meal from, I will give you five five thousand. No, just this two. Uh -huh. So you give me the one thousand that I give you before. Amen. Okay. Oh, Mama, please come. I buy only one. I saw that things that I want to buy. I'm thinking that I will sell that things that I want to buy. So let me buy just one. Try it by faith. Maybe first will work. And then proceed. Twenty thousand, and I had more than this. I don't think.
UBA. Who? UBA Bank. UBA. Bank. Bank of. La Bank, La Bank, UBA. These are the streets of Kotonou. You can see how clean they are, say, prop, pre prop. And uh, you can see that most of the buildings are setbacks, you know, that now link them to uh, Siwas and Siwas linking to the streets. Um, the cars, the bikes are parked on the setback, not on the road, which leaves more space, you know, for uh, road users and probably contributes to how free the roads are. So very important. And I noticed that this bike man in particular never tried to park on the road. He would always find a place where other bikes were parked or go find a proper parking space each time he drops me. And you can see generators in on the streets. Like uh, I saw air conditioners the other time, you know, fixed out there, you know, on buildings, you know. But on the streets, that's a testament to how safe this place is. You feel safe even when you are there. So I eventually went to four banks, uh, Echo Bank, UBA, uh, Societe General, and uh, 
Bank for Africa, or is it Bank of Africa? But none of their ATMs dispensed money, you know. Uh, so with my Nigerian card, of course, I even went into UBS banking all, and I was told that uh, the lady told me that there was nothing she could do for me if the ATM wasn't bringing out money. So um, eventually, I asked the uh, rider to take me to Libeli, you know, that's uh, the entrance close to the border where I could change money. Then he now told me that why not go to John K Park? Apparently, that's where I was supposed to have gone because there are money changers, you know, black market changers there, just like at the border. And so I eventually now went there and changed money. And fun fact, those guys spoke Yoruba, so it was really very easy for me. That's 2100. Okay. I'm going to do it. 2100. 200. No, 2000. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. Finalement, finalement, compris. Oui, 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 Il faut un complet de 500. Hey. Pardon. Eh. Il faut un complet de 200, je vais partir. Ça va être 2700, c'est bon, je vais partir. 2700. 500, s'il vous plaît. Ah. Please, non? This is 2000, Abby. Et non, non, Ça va être 200, 200, 200. Tu vas mettre 200. Suis-le, quoi. Hey, I never even choke, eh? You know, I'm Ça va être sans Cherchez, cherchez. 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 S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. Hein? Merci. Merci. So I went to the hotel to rest for a while, after which I headed out again, you know, to see Aviv, you know, the area itself, and then to find food. Some places that I had hoped I'd get food at were not open. Some were too expensive and, uh, you know, I had funny experiences trying to communicate in French. So I got these chips and you got and uh, I had it and then I went to the balcony to chill on Netflix and then I sighted a woman selling food from down across the street. And so I went again after a while and then I got this two and soup. So this is like tomato soup with uh, a lot of particles and then they added vegetable soup, you know. It was very interesting. It was actually cool, you know, it was cool.
this meal is 1000 sefas i don't know why most of the restaurants that i saw during the day were so super expensive through share but um it was until I paid for this meal that I realized that yesterday's drink, because it was big, was actually 500 sefas. Today's drink, the smaller uh, UK, was for 350. So apparently, minerals is very expensive. <laughs> Drinks are very expensive over there. I don't know if the government is trying to tax it. I don't know if it's a way of discouraging, you know, uh, unhealthy eating habits or if, you know, the cost of production is just so expensive. But in Nigeria, I could get a bottle of Coke, you know, that size of yesterday i could get it for say 140 150 naira you know so the cab driver that brought me was in osho i gave the receptionist the number and he called and called and he didn't pick up so so the very kind night receptionist was there in the daytime so he called me a bike he ordered me a bike and that's what you're looking at because we had another french back-to-back -back, and he had to eventually translate on his phone to me <laughs> What do you want for here? What is this? Uh, how many go sell for here? Yeah. Look at me. This one now, uh, uh, one no, twenty five. Why is she angry? How much you go pay inside? This egg, have you? Uh, uh, plus the egg. Is that much? The bread every, here. Every hour, what is the name? As in Toto? No, this one. This one. Okay, let, 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 let. Oh, no, for the matter is to enter the Let me go. Another. Take your price you want to pay hmm? for all. Okay. And tell them, how much you will sell it? Is that, I, I don't know. Is that how they sell it? Well, we're going to have some now. What is it? 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 For uh, 400 for all. Three mm hundred. -hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I have a two or something. I don't know. I said, I don't know. I I I Hmm? Make it pay for. It's better I go put in everything. Yeah. So, eh? Go to the cast cup. Oh, I didn't cast them. Okay. 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 Yeah, hey, hey, no, 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 hey. What is this? No, no, no. Hey, you, you. You go over the boat? No, no, hey, you there. Okay. You, the you, the you are Ibo? No. From where are you from? I'm Yoruba. Hmm? I'm Yoruba. And you are Yoruba? Uh, you are Yoruba, correct? Uh, My... I, I thought they used to put spaghetti. Spaghetti? Uh, well, you know, it's a go risk 500. For salad, spaghetti. Okay, no, 400. Okay. I will have a cassava. 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 I Hello, hello, hello. 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 Hello, Okay. Mm. 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 That's good. Okay. 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 Since I'm the first passenger, he, asked, he had to look for three more passengers before we could leave. And when I said I wanted to buy something to eat, he insisted that he would carry my bag from the car and follow me 
to go buy whatever I wanted to buy because he couldn't leave the bag in the car. So look at the baguettes, the bread, and uh, all the midi midi that is inside. There's spaghetti, there's omelette, there's so many other things that I'm not certain of their names. I believe somewhere in the mix there's lettuce, there's cabbage, there's onions, carrots, you know, <laughs> and what have you. So I know to French, English, but I do boy English. But what you want to English? You need to French. This is going French. You parle un peu. Cause mon connais school. Ah, that's why. 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 Ah, Hey, <laughs> 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 I'm going to semi. You can be so, and it is showing me by day. We should move your check driver. Well, I need to give you a matter of real age. You send me more. What do you mean? Long reason. What do you mean? What do you mean? English. Okay. Eh, Really? Who are you? Where is this? Okay, Port Novo, okay. Port Novo, I'm going to go to the Port Novo. Yes, yes. I'm going to go to the Port Novo. Okay. I'm going to go to the Port Novo. 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 Maria Topa. Oh, okay. Come on, walk home. I don't know. 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 I
Burundi et Camerounaise Non, je suis Nigérien. Ok. Mais tu as été quitté au bout de ça, au Côte d'Ivoire ou au Togo Tu es venu en Côte d'Ivoire Tu es venu en Côte d'Ivoire Non, non, non. Au oh, Togo Non, Nigérien. Il faut bien une langue. C'est français de moi. Pour pour Oui, 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 je dis de Yoruba. Mais You don't say for French country small time. Right? No, no, no. Yeah. It's my first time. Ah, okay. I've sent it. Okay. How much is Five four. Non, non, l'école c'est quoi Oui, oui. oui. Euh, le gars, il, this guy, il est en train de cross the border for you. Euh... Oui. Merci beaucoup. Ah, non, on le connaît. Hein? 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 Hein?